This here might just be the greatest all-time theme park ever featured in over 550 park spotlight episodes on this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you on today's journey through Thunderland Adventure Valley. This revolutionary theme park speaks for itself with over a dozen massive, intricate coaster designs integrated into one of the most visually stunning and complex terrain landscapes ever designed in a planet coaster theme park. There are so many things to get excited about in this theme park, such as a stunning 1300 meter mine train coaster wrapping around the lakeside vista. One of the world's most remarkable wooden coasters with over 2400 meters of track length and top speeds of 80 miles per hour. A wickedly insane strata coaster with death defying drop of nearly 140 meters that takes you on a journey through most of the themed areas in this mega park. An incredible hyper themed corkscrew coaster that traverses one of the most highly decorative pirate themed areas ever created. There is so much more coasters to offer. B&M Invert Steampunk Coaster, Double Loop De Loop Corkscrew Coaster, an enormous floorless corkscrew coaster, a crazy manic mouse coaster, a thrilling Gaslauer dark ride, a spinning coaster, a pirate themed water coaster, and a dive coaster that traverses almost entirely under ground and many many more fun experiences with transport rides heavily themed flat rides scattered around this massive what i call giga park experience so this is one you're definitely not going to want to miss out on so fasten your seat belts keep your arms in at all times and enjoy the experience with me here in today's episode of park spotlight Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends! Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at Thunderland Adventure Valley created by Rai Rai, and here they say, Hey yo, guys, welcome to Thunderland Adventure Valley. This park it has nine themed areas, 11 coasters, one water coaster, and 11 uniquely themed flat rides. This build took over 18 months, not nine days. <laughs> it's a little throwback because he created a park in nine days for a contest and nearly won. <laughs> or maybe he did. <laughs> Forgive my memory. Uh, with just under a hundred thousand piece count, I've tried to make uh, this a detailed and planko realism minus any transfer tracks as I can. Take into account how the game runs, so I hope you all enjoyed the themed areas along with the rides. Please ride all coasters at day and night unless the signs in the station state differently. Okay, keep your eyes open, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you to all the TMT creators and Igmander for her symmetry graves as they place perfectly for what I needed and more more than anything, thank you to all the guys that sat through the hours and hours of live streams watching me build this. You are all appreciated. Thanks again, guys, and enjoy Rye. Please refer to the Steam page for more details. I will try to pull up his Twitch link if you guys want to watch him stream creating amazing creations like this. Uh, I'll try to get a uh, Twitch link down in the description below. Go give him a follow. What an amazing creator in today's episode. I'm super excited about this. This is uh, Rye Rye is one of my favorite favorite creators in, in this community, doing these unique landscapes with crazy intricate coasters. I mean, you heard it all in my intro. I'm super excited about this, so I just do not want to delay any further. Let's get right on into the episode. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen to another Park Spotlight. Hope you're doing fantastic today. I know I am because I'm here in another Rai Rai creation, getting my ticket, getting my park info, and heading straight on into one of the most incredible theme parks ever created. Look at that coaster. It's technically a strata coaster because it exceeds the 120 meters. It is 140 meter drop on that bad boy right there. But in game terms, it's technically a giga coaster. But it is one of the craziest I have ever seen. And look at this beautiful, beautiful view walking right 
through the park entrance here. We got chair lifts going all the way across a gorgeous lake, wrapping around coasters on all sides of this lake. Oh, wow. And we're just going to kick things off with a sky ride? No, no, no. That is that mm, chair lifts. I don't want to take the chair lifts to the other side, but maybe that's something we could do on our way back, on our way out of the park, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do here today. I want to see it all. I want to take my time. And uh, you don't get park spotlights like this every... Uh, I, I, <laughs> this is like a once a year occasion, you guys. This is just incredible. And what makes it extra incredible is how it's running pretty decently. We get, we're getting 20, 25 frames, uh, depending on where we're looking at. I mean, we got everything loading into the screen right now, and I'm getting 17. Uh, so it's going to be up and down in certain points, but uh, it's not a lag fest, that's for certain. That means the coaster experiences are going to be as smooth as possible. Singing quartet here, love it. Love to see it. ba da ba 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 da 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 ba yeah, the theming, the pathing, it's all just incredible. This is S-tier quality stuff, guys. Perfectly themed flat rides as well. The radius, I love the attention to detail, integrating it into the ground so it rises up from an eye level. You wouldn't even see the ride, and then it emerges from the ground. Um, that is just incredible, credible attention to detail there. Uh, all the glass cue work going around. It's, it's sensational. <laughs> if that is how good the flat rides are, guys, the coasters are going to be just incredible. And they get better and better and better as we get back. This strata coaster at the top here, uh, it's going to take us all the way around the entire park. That there is a part of the same coaster there. <laughs> this is This is remarkable. Um, this is the the type of creativity I love to see. Uh, Rai Rai has just uh, an incredible imagination that I have never seen anything like it, where you're packing in just uh, the most fantastically themed coasters and coaster design layouts, keeping it somewhat realistic in, in most cases, and then just taking that theming to the next level on top of just remarkable landscapes and you'll see that as we get further into the back there um it's it's really stunning day and night row one seat one and two so these are our instructions here today and we're going to ride this multiple times starting with seat one and two at daytime seat view now one thing to mention we don't have any guests in the park sadly but that means we have the park to ourselves this fine day uh, because the game cannot handle any more. Pushing it to its limits is Rai Rai. Enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I love it. And this is one of the more mild or tame coasters, and it is phenomenal. The realism, the attention to detail, the coaster design, this is impeccable. And it's just the corkscrew coaster, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to nighttime seat two, as requested by the creator. Let's uh, see how this looks with all these beautiful lights. Love it. Love to see it. Wow, look how beautifully lit this lakeside view is. Lights wrapping around the entire boardwalk of the lake. Oh my god, this is so good!
absolutely incredible. I love the vintage theme to it and what you did with the lighting is just remarkable. Again, um, the budget budgeting out your park building a park in planet coaster is certainly not the easiest thing and uh trying to figure out when to what how far you can push the limits and when to stop is a very difficult balancing act you even managed to do all the lights the, the lights take a big hit, hit on performance too and this looks incredible look at that party boat party boat all lit up this is just phenomenal uh I guess we could stay at nighttime here because it looks like we got a little bit of a spooky ride. Love the purple and yellow lighting, hitting the complimentary colors is Rai Rai here today. A witch's flight. Ooh, another thing to note out, thank you for that, the speakers. No background Planko music here today, rocking up the immersive sounds that are integrated for us here in the park spotlight itself. These lamps are really nice. How come I've never noticed those before? I wonder if those are TMTK. I feel like I haven't seen those before. Hmm. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, wow. Do we have, um, instructions? I, I, I might be blind. I don't see any ride instructions for this particular ride here today. Here's a look at all the stats if you guys would like to see them. 2,200 meters of track, like 71 miles per hour. Lots of inversions, eight in, to be specific. Airtime counts and all. Let's get it. Going middle seat, seat view at nighttime. Let's check it out. There's so much running through my brain, it is unbelievable. Uh, the theming of these are just impeccable. I looked at this at daytime at first from a distance, getting all the B-roll. I had no idea that this was like the a witch theme, and we came to it at nighttime because we were instructed to check this one out at nighttime, and it rolled into this one perfectly. Uh, I might have missed the signs to go at night on this. Maybe, maybe it says here at the front. Um, uh, maybe not, but I lucked out on that one. I love uh, how, your use of color and again the way you theme things uh, Expansively theme things because this coaster takes you on a journey past a flat ride that 
shares the same theme. And I think that's a really fun use of integrating your flat rides into the theme of your coaster, creating a themed area of itself, and it's, it's brilliant. But also, how the coaster design and layout is just so incredible and expansive. It reaches out into other areas, giving us slight teasers of things to come, such as this nice little sci-fi area tucked in the corner here. You're not going like overly heavy with your themes, um, which is uh, understandably so because you make these massive sprawling themed areas and you're going to break the game's part limit and just create a lag fest. But you want to do little touches of it here and there, integrate some of your favorite flat rides, well themed at that. Um, again, with incredible lighting. So even if we just got a little touch of sci-fi here, and I believe the dive coaster is also themed with sci-fi uh, based off of some door that I saw here. And yeah, it's, it's in this whole sci-fi area. It's just enough. We get a little taste of it. We're not exhausting it, not tired of it. It leaves us wanting a little bit more, but we move on to the next thing, which is just as incredible. Uh, this, again, this is, uh, oh wow, you get to see the dive coaster ripping by here. Do I wait for it? I hear it coming by. Oh, there it goes. Woof, into the stars. Nice timing. Wait, there's arrows. Oh, that's not, oh, that looked like an arrow from the, I'm like, am I going the wrong way? Perspective. Uh, yeah, you don't get to see this type of creativity every day. <laughs> this is so nuts. If, if Rai Rai isn't a legend already, I forgot to check his rank and I have the, the, the window tab because sometimes I get little, a little artifact bugs and stuff uh, with Shadowplay if, if this isn't the only monitor running at the time of recording. But if he's not a legend already, I think we're going to have to just put him to legend. Here we go, Dive Coaster. What is the drop on this? 60 meters, that is pretty good. Quite enjoyable indeed. There's a look at the stats if you guys want to see them. All right, we're going middle seat of the dive train here. Buckle up and enjoy the experience, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's just it's such a mind-boggling experience. <laughs> I cannot believe this. These coasters are so well designed that they could be coaster spotlights of them uh, by themselves. Not a uh, not a dull moment on any of the coasters so far, and we still have like eight more to go. This is literally going to be one of my all-time favorite park spotlights if it isn't already wow rai rai just always delivers uh one thing i wanted to point out like when i when i got off the last coaster i was like so many things are going through my mind um there was a point where we hit the peak of the coaster and another coaster ran by giving us a cool visual and a teaser of what's to come and again with this i i love the fact that where was it? We're getting ready to dive and a coaster just wraps right by us. Um, I don't know if you intentionally designed it that way or if it's ever, no, it must be every other train. We locked out. Um, <laughs> wow. You can't script that stuff. That is so cool. Now we're just like going around the whole park at nighttime, but I think this, a lot of this corner stuff is designed for night. Uh, <laughs> so much to talk about. This is insane. 
the uh the starry panels is some of the best i've ever seen in the use of the stars i was trying to toggle reshade on and off during that experience uh sorry if that seemed jarring at times but reshade kind of ruins panels at times but then enhances experience at others um but it, it yeah, the, when I turned it off and we're as designed going through it, like original Planko style, the way you uh, put the stars together, it was one of the best indoor space scenes I had ever seen. And that's, it's, wow. Yeah, I, I'm almost at a loss for words, yet I have so much I want to say. Um, how are we getting to this wild most? Okay, I was saying I, I like the flow of the park. You know, I, I've been wrapping around the park, I guess, uh, a clockwise. And it's just leading us from attraction to attraction, from themed area to theme area, with so much beauty to look at. And this is all nighttime. We generally don't do a lot of nighttime. Um, some, uh, yeah, this is so captivating at nighttime. And we're going to take a look at everything at day as well. But one of the best lit night parks I've seen. Again, with these flat rides being embedded into the terrain, a beautiful ruin for what here is a swinging hammer experience. And and these ride skins are so well done, they could they could win a ride skin contest. Let's uh let's go for a spin cuz why not? All right, this thing is a swinging. There it is. And maybe, maybe just take a look at it all during the day as well. You can see the vibrance and beauty of uh, Thunderland itself. Rai, Rai has done other Thunderland amusement parks and other theme parks that have been absolutely sensational. There's a reason I got so excited about today's park spotlight because Rai, Rai is quickly building a reputation for some of the best theme parks ever featured on the show. And this one is outdoing the last. And I thought the last was impeccable. So I will try to dig up some of Rai Rai's creations and we will put them links to the videos in the description below so that if you guys want to see I think this is an exit yeah uh, if you guys want to see some of the uh, I keep going around how do I get in oh no the castle ruins is the uh, actual coaster here for some reason I thought uh, it was the queue for this one but that's just slightly to the left there hmm yeah you definitely outdid yourself on this one here today Rai Rai well, I think I was supposed to go at night. I saw a nighttime sign somewhere. Yeah. Oh, day or night. Okay. We'll do day. Let's switch it up. And we'll uh, definitely go in the middle here. All right. My goodness. I'm generally not the biggest fan of most rides because they, in particular, they just kind of go back and forth 
And while it had that element, again, we had this coaster ripping by. Uh, we're, we're locking out with all the coaster timings. But as we get deeper and deeper into the actual ruins and we're like swinging and spinning around pillars and the interaction between the actual castle ruins and the most ride made for literally the best most ride experience I have ever seen. This is really, really, really well done. And I was going to say that like maybe would have ended up being one of my least favorite coasters in this park and uh you turned it up a dial even with the most rides and that is a sign of a truly good uh creator wow and <laughs> this is definitely thunderland it is so much fun and this is what i love to see from park spotlights you guys to all the a note to all the creators take some uh, i guess take notes from rai rai uh because if if you find ways yeah, I guess we have to go on the dive tower. If you find ways to interweave your coasters with other coasters, mixing the theming together, uh, doing some foreshadowing on what's to come, and giving us little teasers and spoilers. Apparently, there's 23 hidden Mickeys in this park. I saw that somewhere on the Steam page, so we just found one. If you guys note any, put, uh, put a comment down in the comments below. That's kind of a hidden... Oh, maybe not. It's just a clover. Um, yeah, if, if you find any, put a timestamp in the comments below of what time in the video you see a, a hidden Mickey. It could be a, a fun little mini game for us to experience here. But to what, what I was saying before is uh, getting a way to have your terrain look really interesting, really dynamic. Like, while this is just a lake here, as we look to the left, look at that. Massive mountains with coasters just weaving in and around that terrain. A beautiful lakeside view with coasters just everywhere. Like the vistas are incredible. And everywhere you look, you go, I want to go on that. I want to go on that. What's over there? And it creates for such an interesting park spotlight and just a, a theme park in particular. This is the stuff you can't experience in real life. And that's what makes Planet Coaster so special. This is really just next level stuff. And these are the types of theme parks I want to see and experience and I think make for the, the S tier of uh, experiences here on the show. So enough gushing from me. Well, I guess I'll be gushing some more, uh, but let's continue on for it now. This looks like an exit. I don't see any entrance signs. Here we have the uh, Dark Ride Gasselauer coaster. Look at this. Integrating a little bit of spooky. We had interesting, like you have two little spooky areas. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, oh, it is an exit. Just darn it. Why did you put an exit side there? Disqualify. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Oh, that's the chair lift. Wait, is there a, another drop tower over there? Well, we might check that one out at nighttime then. Here we go, Ghost. Also, I think these are TMTK neon fonts. I'm a big fan of them. They look great. Great. Best at nighttime. You got it. Man, this is so nice. I find that the spooky pieces in Planet Coaster are very hard to use. Uh, generally, I, I find some of the spooky areas to be kind of flat. And again, I think you utilize your terrain to make this kind of like a gully and adds to that like immersive factor. Nighttime row, seat one, row two, or row one, seat two. Okay, let's check this out. You can't write this stuff, guys. How is this happening? Every time we get on a coaster, we see the coolest perspectives of another coaster. This is incredible.
Wow. Oh my god, that was super unexpected. Um, <laughs> you just keep upping the ante. There's so many good things about this. I think my favorite aspect is the tilted dungeon. You know, you have all these like weird angles we're coming in and I can't tell if I'm upside down, if I'm sideways. It's all twisting and spiraling and out of control. And um, it's, it's just really well designed, super creative. I did not expect any of this. Uh, looking at it from the outside, I expect us to just go through some forests, a couple haunted house, but we're going through these twisting, weird, like dungeonous ruined areas. And uh, it's just so captivating. Great use of the lighting, great use of the fog and all the spooky packs, again, using that terrain and elevation to create a really cool atmosphere. This is sensational spooky, done to its best. Like, this is this is how you get an S-tier park, by creating all, the themed areas do not have to be vast and sprawling, and take a note out of uh, Rai Rai's creation here, you can have just a small little spooky area with the main attraction being that of um, a singular coaster, or I, I was pretty content with what we saw way over there with the witch's ride and uh, flat ride. That could have been just the spooky touch of the park itself, but you had to take it to another level and uh, elevate what was done well over there and do it even better over here. And I feel like, wow, I have, um, it leaves you wanting a little bit more, but you feel very complete with the experience in itself. And it's great. It's just a, a perfect amount of everything. Really well done. Okay, Timber is this, this I'm assuming is going to be the wooden coaster. One of my most anticipated rides of this park. Let's check it out. Timber! Whenever I hear that word, I get PTSD from Valheim. <laughs> such a good dream, such a good game. Everyone yelling timber and then a tree falls and kills somebody. <laughs> oh, I am looking forward to revisiting Valheim on the full release. It's taking quite a while though. This is really cool queue. All the woodwork, so intricate. And it looks like there's a ton of custom supports and wow. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, night or day. I, I, I didn't expect the nighttime POV for this. Here's a look at the results, 2,400 meters in length, 80 miles per hour, six seconds of airtime, nine airtime counts. This is one wooden coaster that you will remember. I'm sure of it. Okay, get that reshade back on. I think we might check this out at nighttime because I love a good wooden coaster. And uh, I think this is gonna be one we're gonna wanna ride twice. Here we are, we've made it to the other side of the park. What an incredible journey this has been so far. I mean, I've been smiling the whole way through. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, leave the video a like and share it with your friends. Let's go.
Wow. Holy Toledo's, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. -y. Let's take a look at this coaster track layout from a bird's eye view. <laughs> My God, it's incredible. And I'm really happy you, you managed to get a monstrous wooden coaster in here um, and still keep the frame rate quite high. For those who are unaware, uh, wooden coasters are one of the most impacting coasters of all for frame rate because of all the little wooden pieces. And I believe you even have custom supports somewhere. I saw some custom supports. Maybe not. Yeah, here? Can't seem to select it though. But yeah, this is just an incredible wooden coaster layout. We're gonna have to check this out again at nighttime. I didn't see any lights in the tunnels, but I could be mistaken. Here we go, we're at the top of the lift. Perfect. Ah, uh, oh, the lighting in that last cave was from underneath the coaster tracks. That's quite surprising. It is a very, very difficult to light up a wooden coaster. I, all the little spotlights going up the lift. It's a nice, subtle touch. And the nice little orange hues throughout the forest. I mean, this is beautifully done for a wooden coaster. Uh, some of the best lighting there is. Wow. Wow, wow, wait. Let's go back to daytime and head on over to the next quadrant of the park. Um, well, I did want to check out this dive or a drop tower at night, so maybe we'll do that before we head off. Here we go. Oh, and it's integrated into the timber coaster. We're um, emerging from the depths. I might have to go find the queue for this because it's probably an interesting queue. Yeah, this is really cool. Again, a nice use of um, integrating your flat rides into your main attraction, that of uh, the wooden coaster here. Wow, look at that. The Giga Coaster soaring by. A look at the beautiful lake at nighttime, fully lit all the way around. Whoo, lights going all the way up to that strata drop and look at pirate land over there that is beautiful and back underground yeah look at this no 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 i want to go up the entrance <laughs> so you guys can see the queue here in reverse yeah this is neat very cozy whoops losing control free fall Beautifully done, Rai Rai. Oh, I am overwhelmed. Bam, bam. 
Um, this here... Westworld? Do I, do I want to go up top? What is this? Is this... Oh, it's the exit. The little sitting area. Nicely designed. Uh, this is one of the most captivating aspects of the park here. I just love the way you did the pathing around the lake and even integrated the flat rides into that. It's got this very unique, uh, organic, wavy shape to it. And as we turn and look, there's just so much going on. Supports, wood, depth, uh, terrain, trees. Uh, it has this mesmerizing, captivating presence to it that I just you don't get to see very often in a mine train coaster it's it's like you took all of my favorite rides and then made each of them my favorite of all time <laughs> it's so impressive it doesn't say nighttime but part of me feels like this queue would look really nice at night yeah it does. If we're going into a mine, I feel like we need to have the lights off here. Yeah, just these, like, kind of purpley shadows and warm hues. It's very complimentary. Like, Rai Rai needs to design a theme park in real life. <laughs> Somebody needs to hire this man. <laughs> Be the most expensive theme park of all time, but man. Wow. This is great. What's our instructions here? Day or night, car 5, seat 1 or 2, or track view. Yeah, we'll do that. Car 5 is probably the back, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of both. We're going to start off at nighttime here. Here's a look at the coaster results if you guys would like to see them. There we go. And we could check out the track view during the day, as requested. Rocking the planet bluegrass. Wow. Okay, let's uh, let's check this out during the daytime and then talk about it. This is so good.
Wow. This is just incredibly well done. I, I, I was really curious to see if that coaster, the train, would pass us by the second time because we were coming around. I don't even know where it was at this point, um, but it was no fluke. It's designed so that the second train passes by the first train so you get a glimpse of it, and it happens every single time around. That is just so well designed. <clears throat> where the, the wooden coaster was all about the experience, you know, just a beautifully well done layout and a massive one at that that just navigates a, a giant terrain the mine train goes to a completely different extreme in that of the detailing as we can see like there's these crazy twisting almost inverting custom supports going all the way around and and that's just it's just taking the wooden design to the next level these archways and it's all hand built custom supports all the way around it's it's <laughs> remarkably well designed and and well themed in the intricacies of all the woodwork and a beautiful entrance here as well so much custom woodwork and the actual layout itself is no slouch with a double lift here and tons and tons of track length as i pointed out here with the 1300 meters and it still does all the things that a mine train should going underground exploring beautifully well themed detailed mine shafts uh, interacting with two or even three other trains on the circuit there it's uh got tons of that elevation and detail again probably one of the best mine train coasters i've ever picked planet bluegrass to top it off for some fun theming thematic music i'm gonna need a nap after this this is this is exhilarating and i'm gonna be exhausted turning the uh party boat here into restrooms and a restaurant so cool you've even detailed and themed it decorated it put uh animatronics all over it so well done so well done wow and this is what rai rai does best right here ladies and gentlemen pirate pirate theming the i think it was park spotlight 400 or something i believe rai rai did that one we had uh zelix co-hosting that one we called it the revolutionary theme park if you haven't seen it it's a must watch if i'm not mistaken it was rai rai i think it was the first time i was ever introduced to rai rai by zelixar himself he said you have to do this park it's it's gonna blow your mind and the entirety of the park was pirates and um then rai rai also did a mini park contest in like was it nine days or something nine hours i don't remember <laughs> he said it in the intro and i think he nearly won or placed in top five um and uh, yeah he's just well known for making some of the best pirate experiences you've ever seen so of course he's got to put his signature touch on to this park adding in a little bit of that pirate theme and in fact this is probably the biggest sprawling themed area of all the themes we've witnessed i think he said it was like nine or eleven themes or something like that throughout this um park okay we got a uh spinning coaster fill all rows i don't know what that means here's a look at the stats of the spinning coaster if you guys want to see them rip tide let's give it a rip off we go All right, wow. Even the fun, family-friendly spinning coaster delivers a punch. Really good use and control of the spinning mechanic on the spinning coaster there. Almost like we're drifting up and around those banking corners. I love it. Absolutely love it. This looks so good during the day. We've seen all these lanterns and stuff. I, I feel like we gotta at least give it a little bit of a look at nighttime. Ooh, look at the way that pirate ship lights up. We got a bit of a, a water coaster somewhere buried in the mountains here too. And even that coaster there touching down, getting a little bit of water. Whoo! Yeah, this is a very vibrant and spectacular lighting.
What does this say? The Flying Dutchman. That's the, uh... The cue for the... Flying Dutchman. Quick look at it there. Not the best flat ride to actually give a go. All right. Uh, this is one coaster I'm gonna want to check out during the daytime. That's your exit. Where's my entrance? Did I pass it? No, nope, but a nice little seating area. Check out. Cool slushies and burritos. All right, the Rogue Wave. I believe the name implies it's the water coaster. Ooh, again with the custom woodwork built to oh no, it almost looks like it's built out of ship parts. That's so cool. Yes, indeed, it is. Day and night, a water ride at nighttime. So interesting. There's a look at the stats. We'll start off with the vibrance of daytime. Okay. Bum, bum. I really love this, um, let's take a look at this, this little waterwork thing that you did here. Look at that. It's, uh, actually the coaster track covered in water, what do you call, emitters, but then you've added in artificial splashes with the, what do you call them, the, the other emitters, the splash emitters, making this like a rolling, a, a really organic, fast stream. It's cool. Really well designed. I guess we'll check it out at nighttime too, because that's what they had written down there. Do a little bit of a pop-up view for this one. One thing I didn't mention again was the amount of uh, heavy woodwork and custom supports on this one as well. Yeah, beautifully lit at nighttime. Love the use of all the little Chinese lanterns. They work really well here, actually. Love it. Beautiful lighting. Man, this is just so, so, so incredible. 
Again, these experiences only come around once every year or two. As mentioned in the uh, the description here, Rai Rai spent 18 months building this park. And here we are doing, what, an hour or two, hour long or two spotlight on it. Uh, it just does not do it justice. I mean, I'm trying to do it justice, but uh, yeah, this, this is not easy to accomplish in Planet Coaster. Definitely not. So, uh, leave some love for Rai Rai down in the comments below. Tell him how much you love his park. Tell him what you like about it and why, what your favorite coaster is. Just fire away, because uh, I believe Rai Rai deserves a lot of love for this creation here. Good googly moogly. It is incredible. The barrel roll. <laughs> I gotta squeeze in the whirly rig. Love it. Just a little, uh, rubble here. Crash ship. Uh, I'm missing, like, this corkscrew coaster, and I'm not sure. I don't want to enter the the Giga Coaster just yet, but I guess we're just going to go where the park takes us. One-Eyed Willy. I'll check the queue out at night. I don't know if this is both a night and day coaster. They ha A lot of them have been so far, which I really do appreciate. Row one, day and night. Okay, let's start with night. And here's a look at all the coaster results if you guys would like to see them. Six inversions, some air time, 74 miles per hour. <laughs> thank you for all following this build to all you guys who watched the live streams and added their input to the park thank you i generally hope uh, you enjoyed the park over a thousand hours of construct over 18 months thank you for the entire channel 5 gaming community i never thought when i first started building i would get a mention let alone a review thanks for all the support happy coastering all and some box cat channel 5 box cats beautiful oh nice little easter egg there did not expect that Rai Rai, you are such a sweet guy oh and uh we love and adore your creations absolutely um you didn't expect to ever get a feature but your work speaks for itself when i see good creations i feature them immediately and i saw this one here and i think zayfor suggested it so shout out to zayfor he caught an eye of it and he said hey johnny you got to do this one um so <clears throat> we added a new system where the mods can start suggesting top creations to me so i don't have to dig through the thousands <laughs> of creations in the inbox and they're helping me uncover the gems so let's uh check this out again at daytime uh first launch coaster i was actually wondering how we were gonna hit top speeds of 74 miles per hour when i didn't see a big lift and then to my surprise it was in fact a launch coaster so good to see it a lot of variety throughout the coasters in this park really hitting a little bit of everything and taking them to the extreme both with the theming and the design. This is just remarkable and memorable at that.
Oh, and there's another one of the hidden Mickeys. I've only I've only spotted two so far, but I keep forgetting to actually look for them. So I'm really really curious if uh, if we can find them all. Um, oh, shout out to Wix there on the side of the box cat. Oh, that's a it's a Wix box cat. Ah, oh, it's actually <laughs> decorated like a Wix. Oh, I'd love to see it. Shout out to Wixie there. Love you, buddy. Yeah, the, um... Hidden Mickeys. I'd love to see if you guys can find them all and... and, and do time steps down, down in the comments below. Maybe... sometimes my camera driving isn't the most stable... or the slowest. There's so much ground to cover. And so much to look at that, you know, I, I want to go at a, a, a good speed where we can take a look at everything. But, um... I don't want to go too slow where we... We lose people's attention spans. So... I actually thought the Giga Coaster would be located in the pirate area. But it doesn't appear like it is, which is... It's a good thing because it leaves more to be desired. Because you, you get l many, many views of it on a lot of those attractions over there. And you think that you're going to go on it, but <clears throat> saving more to look forward to. This is just remarkable. These views and vistas, like, it's just so captivating how much coaster we see everywhere. It's just out of this world. And that pirate area, again, <clears throat> it speaks for itself. I've commended um, Rai Rai on his pirate theming time and time again. He is one of the best, if not the best pirate creator out there. And uh, getting a touch of steampunk in here is Rai Rai. Something I don't think that they've tried their hand at yet, if I remember correctly. So this is Rai Rai's attempt at steampunk and it is looking like very, very well designed. He looks like he can do it all. A journey through Adventure Valley. Is this the Giga Coaster or is this the BNM Invert? Ah, there's my answer. Or wait, it's above us. This is the Giga Coaster. Then I like this a lot. This is a dual station. Ooh, I'm gonna make you guys wait. We're going on the steam machine first. We're gonna save the best for last. A strata coaster that takes you around the entirety of the park so we get to soak it all up in one final bang to close out the park spotlight. Possibly close out the park spotlight. I gotta see if there's some more stuff back here, but I believe we have uh, finally gotten through all the coasters but part of me doesn't want it to end six inversions on this bad boy 63 miles per hour and almost 1200 meters in track length is the steam machine and do we have any ride preferences for this day and night row one and uh row one seat two let's go
Wow, wow, freaking we. I gotta point out how I like the change of environment. We got this steampunk theming, and then the, like we got these dry hills, the, tree, the dry trees, and it's just such a drastic change in, in just the theming and landscaping that we've seen in the other areas. And each of the areas has a bit of different painting, trees, and environmental details to go along with the environmental change of the actual scenery pieces incorporated. It's just phenomenal. The attention to detail. Rai Rai doesn't skip a beat and this is why he is a freaking legend in my books and definitely one of the best parts I've ever experienced here today. Wow. I do not want it to end. And there goes the Giga Coaster. Okay, let's check this out and then we'll go on that one. Absolutely incredible. And it is time, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going back to daytime for this because we need uh, the most vibrance possible for this incredible coaster. Day and night. So buckle up. We're going to end off this park spotlight, possibly end it off with a 3,500 meter max speeds of 100 and 15 miles per hour and the biggest drop at nearly 140 meters breaking the stratosphere is this coaster here i think we're going middle seat on this guy <laughs> and there goes the coaster there beautifully timed yet again a look at pirate land from the skies above here we go Reaching out, touching the top of the skybox is this coaster. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Planet Coaster.
Mowgli! Mowgli! There's the park entrance there. I gotta tell you, this is like a symphony of memory lane. What I love about this coaster, uh, not only is it just insane, but it takes you down a trip through memory lane. It's like it's it's like a like I said, a symphony of memory lane. It, it takes us through all the areas that we already experienced and reminds us how well designed they were. And not only that, it shows us to them, it, it shows them to us. I'm lost for words, I'm scrambling up my brain here. It shows us different angles, perspectives, and areas which we never uncovered during other attractions and, and pathways that navigated us through the uh, park experience. Just giving us a little bit more experience when you thought you couldn't get enough. And again, th this is the epitome of what makes a brilliantly designed theme park. And I just love the fact that it takes us on one final journey to emphasize all the little areas and how good they were. Let's check it out again at nighttime and relive the nighttime experience. For whatever reason, the epic music just cut off. A little strange. Wow, wow, we ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Rai Rai in the comments. Leave the video a like, share this with your friends so we get more eyes and attention on this creation because it absolutely deserves it. 18 months in the making, over a thousand hours, a hundred thousand pieces individually hand placed in this massive giga park, is what I would call it. I have never, ever, ever, ever witnessed and seen anything like this in the 550 plus Planet Coaster episodes that we have created on this channel for you guys here. Wow. I mean, what an honor and a privilege and a joy to feature yet again another amazing creation from Rai Rai. It is unfortunate that these massive parks take so long to make because it could possibly be up to another year or year and a half before we see another park from Rai Rai. At that point, we'll already have the Park Beyond game and he might be building in that depending on how good it is of a game. But, uh, or maybe we'll have a Planet Coaster too. <laughs> you never know what the future holds. But what is possible in this game Rai Rai is breaking the limits there are two transport rides I think we could pass on those you, you, you guys saw different visuals and perspectives of the chairlift you could take a look at it here we got the boat ride going around the whole lake really really nice transport rides an extra touch of integration there wow I gotta say the ability to measure out and get this park the way it is with such tall coasters amazing theming incredible landscape all intertwining and intertheming with one another is just mind-boggling but then to take it to the next level where you can optimize things in such a way where you get 9 11 different themed areas uh, and, and get it performing at a point where you're not breaking the game's frame rate because one of the things that Planet Coaster does struggle with is frame uh, part count and frame rate the engine is a bit outdated it, it, it has a hard time handling everything that you can put into it it's not it's it's never the best experience 
experience going to a like a park that somebody spent a year or two on and it just doesn't run well and while it wasn't the perfect frame rate it wasn't getting to the point where it was intolerable so you cut yourself off at the perfect time but planned out the perfect amount and i do not know how you balance that out and you, you do deserve to be commended for that alone and then for those p people who are trying to get a feature tried to build a park trying to um you know get a wow factor going take a lot of notes from this you know doing the elevation as i mentioned over here with the steampunk area look at the terrain work and the paint job and what kind of foliage is used throughout these areas and then look at how that contrasts over here you know uh the just just use utilizing terrain paint the rocks the uh trees and how you can mix and match those with the pieces that the game gets you to decorate with and then looking at the spooky area again the just the gnarled branches and and dry terrain and how much that uh contrasts to the other areas throughout the park and what you can do with that to make each of the areas feel unique and uh interesting but then as mentioned from just the very the, the top of the video here coming in and uh getting us to go to nighttime having this vintage fun nighttime lighting rolling into a beautiful nighttime spooky area with the witch coaster here it's all just so captivating and you're taking these themed areas in micro doses and i think that's something for people to take notes on is micro dosing get one really nice themed flat ride in with one really nice themed coaster and have a little bit of that foreshadowing by stretching that coaster out into other areas getting you excited for what's to come next and that way you just have an exciting park spotlight experience just a park experience in general start to finish because you're always teasing what's next at every step of the way while also delivering an incredible experience without overdoing it it gives you a lot leaving you wanting more at every step of the way but then you know throwing something new in your face that you're immediately excited about and i just can't explain enough or emphasize enough how remarkable that level of design and ingenuity is you just don't see that it's rare you are a diamond in the rough rai rai you are a unicorn of a designer and i and i cannot explain anymore how incredible this creation here is today just look at it i mean it speaks for itself but i did my best to find the words <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Rai Rai, and another amazing, amazing creation. If you guys want to see more incredible parks like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button, but also go down into the links below, and I will put some of Rai Rai's other park spotlight videos in this. While they may be older, I guarantee you they pack a punch that's just as incredible as this. But this, to me, really is the pinnacle of Rai Rai's creations, and you took it to the next level, and I didn't think that was possible. So give it up for for Rai Rai. Leave some love down in the comments below. And uh, before we go, let's talk favorite coasters. Well, while I, I kind of feel like I have to pick this gigantic strata because it's so insane and I depicted how much of a, a symphony it is to revisit all the areas, I also you know that's that would be one reason i really like that coaster but i have a lot of favorites and, and i think my personal favorite is going to be this mine train i really really like the way it looks i like the way that it stands out i almost like how it's uh like a, a four foreground drop to everything incredible in the background i mean this is just this is probably the thumbnail right here <laughs> i don't know um but it just really sets the tone for for everything you know this lakeside view and all the woodwork gone into it the interaction of the three coasters i really love it and again i love wooden coasters and i think this is one of the most remarkable coaster layouts out there for a wooden coaster and how much track is actually there so uh this will be my number one this will be my number two and this one will be my number three and I'm gonna give it, that's my top three in that order. But I think they were all equally sensational for different reasons. Even though those are my top three, I think everything is tied for fourth. <laughs> Cause they were all remarkable. What were your favorite coasters and why? Fire away down in the comments below. Give it up for Rai Rai once again, one of the most legendary creators in this community. What a joy of a park spotlight this was. Uh, I had a ton of fun here today. I hope you did as well. And I also hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next Park Spotlight. Bye now. <laughs>